And also, in the South, 40% of the, um, the slave owners were women. In the South, that's Louisiana, um, LouisianaWeekly.com, LouisianaWeekly.com, and other articles as well. Let me get some scriptures. This um, Shalom, give all praise to Yahweh Shem, Yahweh Shem, Rakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles, GMS groups, and ones alike, teach 100% true. Shalom, brachatham to them for the advocation and knowledge. A salutation to the elders and apostles, GMS groups, and ones alike, teach 100% true. Shalom, brachatham to them, and give all praise again to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Bashim, Rakadash. This relates to historychannel.com uh, video relating to life on um, a slave ship. I want to get some scriptures. Go to Ezekiel, Ezekiel uh, 35 and 6. Ezekiel 35 and 5, Shalakia. Because thou has had a perpetual hatred and has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end. So they had a hatred for it. And this goes back spiritually, man. Relating to Esau and, um, and Jacob, man. That's, this, this hatred always stemmed back from, from, um, from um, Esau and Jacob relating to the blessing, man. Number six. Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord Yahweh, I will prepare thee into blood, and blood shall pursue thee. And thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. 
So that makes the point in number five, man. They had a perpetual hatred, man. Go to Psalms 83. The, all these nations that had a uh, confederate with... Um, Get Psalms 83. This is Psalms We'll start at number one. Keep not thou silence, O God. Hold not thy peace. And be not still, O God. For lo, thy enemies make a tumult. And they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. And consulted against the hidden ones. The hidden ones relates to the, the nation of Israel. It relates to these nations that have a, a deep perpetual hatred for the nation of Israel, man. Go to Deuteronomy um, 28. I'll read a few verses. This is all part of the curses, man. I want to read a few verses in Deuteronomy 28. 28 and... Um, I'll start at 28. I'll start at 28. We'll read a few. The Lord Yahweh shall smite thee with madness and blindness and astonishment of heart. And thou shalt grope at noonday, and blind gropeth in darkness, and thou shalt not prosper in thy ways, and thou shalt and thou shalt be only oppressed and spoil evermore, and no man shall save thee. That relates to uh, being in in bondage and in, in, in servitude to these other nations, and and none are going to be able to save thee from that bondage and that servitude. Oppression. Let's go down to um, or go up. I'll go up to, um, I'll read 50. A nation of fierce countenance which shall not regard the person of old, nor shew favor to the young. So whether you're young or old, this nation is not going to shew no favor, man. And during, for example, during the, um, during in captivity on, the, on them slave ships, huh? there were men, there were women, there were children. So they, they had no regard for them, for the young or the old. And obviously, for historically relating to the treatment that what they had, to, they endured relating on those slave ships, they had to endure the harsh and heinous conditions. So they, 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 they had no, they had no pity for the men, the women, or the children. I'm gonna read a few verses up. I'm going to read 45. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee until thou, until thou be destroyed. Because thou hearkest not into the voice of the Lord thy God to keep his commandments and his statutes which he commanded. That's the reason. And these curses are going to pursue thee, over, follow thee, overtake thee until they destroy thee, man. This is that, that scourge that's going to follow the nation of Israel because of their disobedience, man. Until a time that the Lord sees fit to end it. Let's go to... Um, I'm going to read Deuteronomy 28 and 64. I'll just read it down. And... The Lord shall scatter thee among all people from one end of the earth unto the other, unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods 
which neither thou nor thy fathers have known even wood and stone. That's what's happening. That's part of the curses. Being Hellenized, our people, being as the Gentile, you know what I mean? Taking on the Gentile ways, relating to the, um, um, following these other custom and traditions, religions, false idols, even wood and stone. 65. And among these nations shall thou find no ease, neither shall the sole of thy foot have rest, but the Lord shall give thee a trembling heart and failing of eyes and sorrow of mind. That relates to hellish type condition. Hell is a condition. The slavery, that was a hellish type condition. Beyond hellish type condition that they went through, man. They, they had neither rest nor day or night. Number um, 66. And thy life shall hang in, in doubt before thee, and thou shalt fear day and night, and thou shalt shall have none assurance of thy life in the morning thou shalt say shalt say would God if were even and at even thou shalt say would God it were morning for the fear of thy heart wherewith thou shalt fear and for the sight of thine eyes which thou shalt see 68 and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships by the way whereof I spake unto thee. So they come into a far land, to a language, to a place they never been, to a language they're not familiar with, to a place they never been. On ships. And thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold into your enemies. These other nations, which had, uh, which uh, were complicit and collaborated for um, to the, the continu continuous demise of the nation of Israel, man. Since they were exiled out of, um, of uh, Israel, man, these nations had confeder confederates against the nation of Israel, and that's all part of the curses. We'll read it 68 again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. By the way, whereof I speak unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies by, for bondmen and bondwomen, and no man shall buy you. That's slavery and bondage, man. And that place that you used to be, you'll never see it again. You know what I mean? Because you out of out of out of punishment. Because of the disobedience of the nation of Israel, they were made to, uh, they were exiled out of their, of the land and scattered, scattered, um, scattered among the, the other nations. They were sold into the other, um, they were sold in bondage to these other nations and scattered all abroad from four, all four corners of the earth among these other nations, man. Hosea 1 and, 1 and 10, they like the sand and the sea, can't be counted. They're innumerable, can't be counted. And this relates to um, the bondage of um, the life on the um, slave ship for the, um, for the ones who are on there, the slaves. This History Channel. Give all praise to Yahweh. Hope it helps whoever listens. Give all praise to Yahweh. Bashim Yahshah, Bashim Rakadush. Shalom.